Hello, this is Dan from the iMovie FAQ. Now before you get started with a with a large project, this one uh, this one's about two hours uh, of total footage, you're gonna want to go ahead and and uh, you know keyword all your footage and, and find the spots that you you want to remember to get in there. Because I I can't tell you how many times where I've tried to try to skip this step and then you get or you think you're done with the project and you're like, oh man, I forgot that one thing. And do yourself a favor. It takes a while. Do the work up front. And trust me, you'll you'll thank you thank yourself later for doing it. Um iMovie makes this this pretty easy. This is one of the few things I could say that uh I like better than than Final Cut. Um and you probably won't hear me say that a lot. You can go through here and uh You'll see I've modified um, from the default keyword list and added my own because I know my target audience. They want to see helicopters crash and they want to see the ladies and they want to see the helicopters fly. Um, the other stuff's nice. I might use it. Uh, but, you know, basically, you know, I've gone through here. Whoops. Here's another little cute thing iMovie does. If you come up here and go to view and playhead info, it'll actually show you... Uh, all your footage information and how it's uh, keyworded. So, you know, I've run I've run this particular clip through oops, through the uh, the people finder. So it, it it found the one person and people and wide. But I've also you'll also see it's you know it's added my funny and ladies keyword because uh, that's my friend Ed there messing with the ladies. But um, <clears throat> so it's a what it's important to do that and and the way. You'd, I did that as like if I if I wanted um, a flight, I would just uh, click flight, go in here, and and you see how that changed to a little key. I just highlighted it, and then bam, you get that flight keyword added to that whole footage. Now, if you uh, like on this one, you'll see if you look at the little blue bar, it ends right there because I only selected that much and that's of course now that's not a flight that's uh, Ed and the ladies so we're gonna head, go ahead and remove that from that oops I'm sorry you got select the clip and then we're gonna remove the flight from that clip because it's not one and it's that easy um, also, I've gone through, and once you have the clip selected, you can come up here, and when you find stuff that you just definitely don't want to remember, you're going to go ahead and bookmark it. You just right click, um, and add comment marker, and then label it as you see fit. So, um, now... Once you're completed and done, oh, I forgot one thing. Uh, you know, as you, as you're rolling the foot, you know, your camera at your event, you know, you're gonna have stuff like this. It's, I don't know what I what I was doing here, um, but it's worthless. So you just select the whole thing, hit delete, and uh, you'll get this red bar, which means uh, it's it's rejected. So if you look at all the clips I've rejected, like these, these are all rejected. Uh, looks like someone forgot to turn off the filter there. So, uh, but we're still going through. I'm still going through them. I haven't done all of them, so I'm, I'm going to continue to, uh, you know, mark the clips. You know, find find what I want in or out, and you'll see why here. Now that we have everything keyworded and clipped I can easily hunt down you know anything I'm looking for any and all as a matter of fact um, and you can turn you know off the funny if you know any keywords like not funny but the ladies so this is just ladies but not funny as I've keyworded it um, so again do this up front and you'll thank me later. Thanks for watching.